When a child is born, immediately they begin to learn how to speak. They start listening and learning words. And usually about age two, they will say their first words. Uh, may not be able to understand them very clear, but they will try to imitate you and say the first words. I know what my first word was, and it wasn't a nice one. My grandmother was trying to open a can of baby food, and, you know, big glass jar. Uh, they're probably bigger than they are, they are now. And she dropped it, and it broke, and she says, Oh, shh! Yep. And my very first word was, Oh, it! True story. As I hear, heard it, anyway. But also, we hear a lot of things, a lot of phrases. And what's funny is you don't even have to ask them what that means. You just know. Because you've heard it so many times. You just know. For instance, I'm at my grandmother's house for the summer. We go to my grandmother's and grandfather's for the summer most most years and we had friends in that area that we hung around with and every morning we'd get up you know and you go over and knock on your friend's door and the mother comes up there and you see if they want to come out and play and you go do what you do all day till it gets dark did that they don't do that today but we did but before i would leave out the door my grandmother, you know, she'd make sure we had breakfast and decent clothes on. And, and then she'd say, you boys don't get no pickle. We didn't even question that. We knew what it meant. It means don't get into any kind of mischief or trouble. Don't get into a pickle. I always liked that phrase. Don't let's not get no pickle. Yeah, my grandmother is from Mississippi. So she had a whole book full of those things those kind of phrases catchphrases whatever you call them well then you'd go over there you know to your buddy's house knock 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 mother'd come to the door you know i don't know i don't even know why they gotta look at you and that like they don't know what you're there for you want you want her kamar to come out and play can her kamar come out and play just a minute then out comes Herkimer, and we start heading off, and his mother shouts, Y'all don't get in a pickle. You know damn well. We have every intention under the sun to get into some pickles. We do. That's what boys do. That's what any kids do. We want to get into pickles. We seek out pickles to get into trouble with. But there's a lot of phrases that you hear growing up. I don't ever remember asking, you know. We'd be driving down the road, and my grandmother would see some drunk stumbling down the street. He's three sheets to the wind. You knew. And then you just, next drunk you saw, you're, you're telling your brothers, he's three sheets to the wind. That was a long, long term for a drunk. And I got a list here because I don't remember things, you know, of, of, of a list nature. But I got a whole list, A through Z. We'll go through some of them. And you tell me if you've ever heard them or maybe add some that your mother or father or grandmother would tell you. What is the first one? A bad excuse is better than none. I can't say I've ever heard that one. Ah. Uh, a chain. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a little touch of coffee here. That's good. That's real good. A dog is a man's best friend. Well, I know that. I know that phrase. A fool and his money are soon parted. <laughs> oh, I know that phrase well. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Uh, a leopard cannot change its spots. He sure can't. Uh, 
let's see what's a good one a petty penny saved is a petty earned penny earned and i'll tell you there are so many of these phrases that come directly from chickens i'm not kidding you don't put all your ba eggs in one basket well i know where that came from because i worked at a ranch that had thousands of chickens and during a certain season it was one of my duties to go into each brooding pen and gather the eggs and i'd have to take a little pencil right right on the top was that a pen b pen c pen so they knew which flock those eggs come from and you didn't put all you didn't put them all in one thing because there were many a times i'd break them i just never tell them i tell oh, they didn't have no eggs today yeah, i broke them or the dog snatched them that happened i'd have a tray of eggs sitting there go into the next brooding thing to get and them dogs knew they followed me around at egg collection time and they'd, they'd snitch them eggs and eat them and i you know, just plead the fifth Thought he knew. How'd I get off on a tangent? A rolling stone gathers no moss. But there is a lot of them phrases that come from chickens. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can come across some of them. Uh, actions speak louder than words. That's a true fact. Yeah. All roads lead to Rome. Not anymore they don't. That one don't make sense. Not if you're in America. How are you going to drive to Rome? Maybe Rome, Georgia. All work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. I've never heard that. I've heard all work, no play. But I've never heard the Jack a dull boy part. Where's this list from? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Not today. A genetic, genetically engineered apple. And if you're diabetic, an apple... Probably one of the worst things you can eat. Any fruit turns into sugar. Did you know that? Uh-huh. And that's fine because fruit's expensive today. Uh, an army marches on its stomach. Got nothing. I was in the army. I never heard it. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. I've never heard that. And I like it, though. You know who said that? Gandhi. He uh, he lived in eight, from 1869 to 1948. We're learning some things here. April showers bring forth May flowers. I've heard that. I didn't, the fourth, we kind of eliminated that. I don't never remember saying fourth. As the twig is bent, so is the tree inclined. As you make your bed, so you must lie in it. Well, see, southern people twist those things. You made your bed, you lie in it. That's how it goes. Ask a silly question, you'll get a silly answer. Am I boring y'all yet? I'm at the end of my rope. Keep watching. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And you got nothing else to do. You know why? Beggars can't be choosers. So you're going to watch my video. Because behind every great man, there is a great dog. You know it. Woo! Be yourself. How is that a phrase? Be yourself. Better the devil you know than the devil you do not. Let's try to put together a story using these. Okay. Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts. Because birds of a feather flock together. Another chicken one. Another chicken one. Because boys will be boys. Ah. <sighs> Children, I heard this all the time. Children should be seen, but not heard. I was seen all the time, because I got in trouble all the time. Clothes don't make the man. Boy, I live that one down, I'll tell you that. Because I ain't no clothes buyer. I ain't. 
man, how many of these are there? We're only on the seas. Oh, there's a coffee one. Coffee and love taste best when hot. That's how. What kind of coincident thing is that? Count your blessings. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just take this and scroll and go up and down and then just stop. You guys yell stop, stop. Less is more. Let's scroll it again. It takes two to tango. I used that one. Takes one to know one. I'm free. I'm, I'm, all right. And seek and ye shall find. That's in the Bible. That ain't. Probably most of these are in the Bible, come to think of it. Sit crooked and talk straight. That's okay. Ah, speech is silver, but silence is golden. Turn your face toward the sun, and shadows fall behind you. Okay. Two birds with one stone. That one, what is, well, we know what it means. You're going to do two things at once. Two birds with one stone. Waste not, want not. Man, that should be in our uh, constitution. Obviously, it isn't. There we go. We'll just pick one, and I'll try to come up with... I'm going to make the definition, okay? Men are blind in their own cause. Ah, I ain't got nothing there. Uh, maybe one of you ladies can answer I'm going to get myself in a pickle. I know it. Oh, many a true word is spoken in jest. That must mean if you're fighting with your old lady, and you say something, I, uh, you can say, and you're gaining weight. Woo, if you've ever said that to a woman, you are lucky. Lucky. Still be walking the earth. That's all I'm going to say about that. Forrest Gump. 1990. Whenever that movie come out. Many hands make light work. Mm -hmm. Make love, not war. Well, that's 60s hippie stuff. Alright. Are y'all are bored of this? Man, the things I got to come up with to do a podcast... Well, I'm going to just, you know, what can I do? I'm going to live to fight another day. <laughs> Ooh, this, I don't even need to come up with stuff. I can just pull this list up, you know. I live and let die. I know. Know which side one's bread is buttered on. Okay. Because you could butter either side. But. You got a stack of buttered bread. You want to grab that bread the right way so you don't get butter all on your fingers. That's what I think that means. Uh, knock on wood. Does that actually work? I don't know. I don't know if that actually works, but I do know this. Knowledge is power. Guard it well. Kill the goose that lays the golden hens. What does that mean? Don't it, it says kill the goose that lays the golden hens. What I think it's supposed to mean is don't kill the goose that lays the golden hens. That must mean if you are a good looking woman or a, an ugly man and you got you a good looking woman, that woman don't want to mess with you, you know. I'm getting in trouble. I'm getting in a pickle. Oh, kill the chicken to scare the monkey. Never heard of it. No. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Probably one of the most wisest phrases ever. Ever. I wonder who. I think you can click on that. And then it will tell you. Let me see the definition. One should be one's. 
on one's toes and alert of one's surroundings if mal malicious people are around to ensure they cannot wreak havoc. But doesn't give you uh, where that came from. So what good is it? They don't know. It's just some things you, just, you never know where they come from. Here's one I got that I say a lot, and I live a lot. Jack of all trades, master of none. I can do your electrical, plumbing, carpentry, auto mechanic, whatever. But I ain't mastered none of them. If you watch my video of me changing the bearings on my truck on the other channel, you'll know that. But I blame that on filming. And if I wouldn't have been filming, I'd have been paying better attention and wouldn't have left out parts. You know, and, you, and you're supposed to have leftover parts when you're working on something anyway. I'm just pleading, it ain't, it ain't my fault. It's getting long, guys. We're going to have to wrap this up. Or I'm going to be in a pickle for time. Uh, let's do a few more. I'm going to have to give you the pink slip. Well, I've got a few of them in my day. They get a, Those are passed out more often now. It takes one to know one. It takes all sorts to make a world. Well, that, that ain't true. It never rains, but it pours. Now, that's not how it goes. It never rains, but it pours. That ain't how that goes. When it rains, it pours. That's how it goes. Let's do three more. No. Yeah, let's do four more. Four more. Because it's never too late. It's like juggling sand. I'm scrolling. Ooh, some funny looking lady's picture popped up. In for a penny and out for a pound. If you got it, flown it. If you must dance with the devil, you might as well know his favorite song. And the final one, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned. Thank you for watching. Y'all be good out there. Don't get yourself in a pickle. Happy trails.